Now check me out. I've mentioned a bunch of times how much I f with anime. I've been actually saying it a lot for the past month. But what I've also been saying a lot for the past month is how these niggas in anime be getting packed up religiously. Like sh be getting wild. We already talked about this. But some of these fights just be going way too far. Like you know when you see a nigga get his ass beat and he already lost, but the dude keep beating his ass. Those are the type of fights I'm talking about. Like some of these ass whoopings are just out of hand. Like that one time in Dragon Ball Super. Y'all niggas remember when Vegeta was beating Frieza's ass? I put emphasis on that because he was really fading this nigga. And I'm not gonna lie, Frieza did have this ass whooping coming for a minute. He thought he was cold because he got this new form, right? Which he was, I'm not gonna lie. But Vegeta also got a new form around this time as well. Now y'all remember what I said, right? If a nigga gets a new form, somebody about to get their ass whooped. And that's exactly what Vegeta did. Got this nigga Frieza shook. Look at this scary ass nigga. He start firing everything he has at Vegeta. Tell me why this man is literally walking through it. Like, if a nigga is walking through your attacks and he's not getting affected, you need to get your ass up out of there. Like, for real, run away. But he didn't. He decided to fight. And Vegeta gave him hands. I'm talking about hands, bro. Look at this man. Beating the brakes off his motherfucking ass. Like, oh my god. He was about to finish his ass, too. But Frieza is an original villain. Which means he's an original hoe. Once he realized he wasn't gonna win the fight, this nigga decides to blow himself up. L move, bro. Why couldn't you just take your ass with him? Like bro from Assassination Classroom. Nagisa got his ass whooped. He finds himself in a situation where he has to run hands with Karma. And Karma is that boy. Like, I f with Nagisa, but... Oh my goodness, the fight starts off and I ain't gonna lie, Nagisa was looking nice. But look at how Karma starts doing this nigga. Pause. But he is beating his ass. I've never seen somebody get kneed in they so many times. He was out there dogging him around. And this was one of them fights that just got worse and worse as I kept watching. He was feeding that nigga. And I actually felt bad because I really like Nagisa. But he got his ass whooped today. And it went way too far. Y'all know another fight that went way too far? When Naruto was fighting Daedara. Bro, Naruto was hot. He found out that his boy got clapped and he was not having it. Pause again. But Naruto had to get it back in blood for Ron. Look at how he tackled this nigga out the air. Like, bro, you're not going anywhere. And when he had this nigga on the ground, he started piecing him. Bro, look, nigga. Shut your ass up. Oh my god, I can feel the emotion behind the hits. I'm sitting there watching this like, damn, them some hard hits, bro. Like, his face about to be toe up. But then we find out that it was just a clone. Like, bro, this nigga got scared and he ran off. Naruto had him hiding, bro. Like, he's actually hiding from him. Shout out to you, though. I ain't gonna lie, because I probably would have hid, too. Especially after I just seen him f***ing up that clone. Another fight that had me at the edge of my seat is when the boy Toda was fighting Kuamaru. Now, I don't know how many of y'all seen UQ Holder, but this fight right here was just insane. So, Kuamaru... Kuamaru runs up on Evangeline and Tota. He look at Evangeline and says, I'ma need that fade. I came here to fold your stupid ass up. Back savage. Now run that sh And Evangeline was sitting there like, Nigga, I'm not about to fight your little ass. I'm about to have my young bull take care of this. She was like, if you beat him, then I'ma fight you. So Kuamaru was like, bet. And then they just get into the hand. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The animation for this fight was so good. They are really getting down. But Tota was out there just fighting. Straight throwing hands. Kuamaru still had that sword. So why? While they were fighting, this motherfucker sliced Toda's head oh, off, no. bruh. Cut that old smooth off, too. But, bruh, this nigga catches his head, and he reattaches that sh**. He look at Kuamara like, I ain't gonna lie, bruh. That was a good hit. But how this shit feel? Bro, he hit that nigga with a Detroit smash. Punch this nigga in his sh**. Bro, look at this. Evangeline sitting back there like, I knew that shit was gonna happen. That's why I didn't fight you. And I'm just sitting there like, well, goddamn.